The reason why a COVID-19 vaccine has come around so quickly is because a lot of money and resources have been thrown at it. These are all the steps normally taken to create a safe and working vaccine. It usually takes at least a decade to complete them all, but with COVID, they've all been done in less than a year. So as is the case with all medicines, a vaccine goes through extensive and rigorous testing before it can be approved and rolled out to a country's population. Before any testing happens in humans, the vaccine is tested on animals in a laboratory. In the case of COVID-19, ferrets, mice and monkeys have all been used. That's because they're similar to humans in their physiology and biology. If the vaccine works and is safe for animals, clinical trials begin. Phase 1 trials involve giving the vaccine to a small number of healthy volunteers, between 20 and 50 people. Here they're looking at safety to check it generates an immune response and to determine the correct dosage. Phase 2 trials involve several hundred volunteers and look at how effective a vaccine is in humans. This group involves adults of all ages and sexes and ideally all ethnicities. Phase 3 trials are similar to Phase 2, but they involve several thousand volunteers. They're still looking at how effective the vaccine is, but on a much broader scale. Usually these clinical trials run one after another, with time given for the data on how safe, effective and stable the vaccine is to be looked at and to make a decision about whether the trial should progress to the next stage. But because of the seriousness of the COVID-19 pandemic, these phases sometimes overlapped. Some were even merged, but all the checks that would normally happen were still being done. Countries have been so keen to find solutions that money has been thrown at organisations to recruit more scientists to work around the clock and to hire more staff to help find volunteers more quickly. And because COVID-19 has been so widespread, finding volunteers to test the vaccine on has been easier than in other trials. When enough data has been gathered, it's submitted to a country's regulators for approval. Scientific and clinical experts review it to see how effective the vaccine is, how safe it is, how stable it is, its quality, and check that it's being manufactured and stored in a way that meets safety standards and public health policy. In the UK, this is the job of the MHRA, the Commission on Human Medicines, and even members of the public are asked what they think. Normally, this happens after all the trials have ended. But in the case of COVID-19, the UK's regulatory body was being given data as the trials went along. This is called a rolling review. If a vaccine is then approved, it can be given to a wider population. But the regulators keep monitoring health records and data on anyone who gets one. The same as for any vaccine or medicine. And every batch of the vaccine that is made is checked for purity and quality before it's sent anywhere.